Hello everyone, welcome to Competitive Academia. This is current capsule where we are going to discuss some important articles. So let's begin with the first article. The Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi has paid tributes to Babu Jagjeevan Ram on his birth anniversary. Now Babu Jagjeevan Ram was one of the most influential politicians in the history of Indian politics. He was an Indian independence activist and politician from Bihar. He was instrumental in the foundation of All India Depressed Classes League. This organization was dedicated to attaining equality for untouchables. He became the youngest minister in Jawaharlal Nehru's interim government in 1946 and he held the labor portfolio. He was also a member of the Constituent Assembly. He was the Defence Minister during the Indo-Pak War of 1971. His contribution to green revolution in India and modernising Indian agriculture during his two tenures as Union Agriculture Minister are still remembered. So let's move to the next article. President's greeting on the eve of Mahavir Jayanti. Lord Mahavir is important from our exam point of view. He was known as Vardaman. He is often considered to be founder of Jainism, although Jains regard him as the 24th Tirthankara. Parshunath was considered to be the first Tirthankara. Jain tradition holds that Mahavir was born in 6th century in a royal Kshatriya family in present-day Bihar. Mahavir taught that observance of the vows of Ahimsa, that is non-violence, Satya, that is truth, Astya, that is non-stealing, Brahmacharya, that is chastity, and Aparigraha, that is non-attachment. These are necessary for spiritual liberation. The next article is Karuna, that is Civil Services Association Reach to Support National Disaster. It is a collaborative association with, where the civil servants, industrial leaders, NGO professionals, etc. have come together to contribute in their own ways. It is a network of civil servants which are spread across the country and can be used to create a database of information. Various teams are assigned tasks ranging from supply of essential equipments like masks, gloves, medicines to economic and welfare measures. Moving on to the next article. OPEC, OPEC-Russia delay meeting. Here again the context is not important, but OPEC is important for us. OPEC includes 14 member countries which account for an estimated 44% of global oil production and 81.5% of the world's proven oil reserve. That's why OPEC has a major influence on global oil prices. Here Russia and US are not the members although they are also in the list of major export, oil exporting countries. OPEC is an intergovernmental organization which was formed on 14 September 1960 in Baghdad. It was constituted by five members that is Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. Its headquarters is located in Vienna, Austria. So let's look at the members of OPEC. They are Venezuela, Ecuador, Algeria, Libya, Nigeria, Republic of Congo, Gabon, Angola, Iraq, Iran, Kuwait, UAE and Saudi Arabia. Although so many members we do not need to remember, but we can remember that Russia and US are not the members of this organization. The next article is Trump request PM Modi to release hydroxychloroquine ordered by US. Now, this medic medication is important to prevent and treat malaria in areas where malaria remains sensitive to chloroquine, but this is used a bit, this is being tested to treat COVID-19. It was approved for medical use in United States in 1955. It is on the list of essential medicine of World Health Organization. It is considered to be the safest and the most effective medicines needed in the health system. That's all for this video. We'll come up with some new articles tomorrow.
Till then, thank you for listening and like, share and subscribe. You can download the PDF from the link given in the description box.